Hello there, friends. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome on in. We're back with some more way back town. A lot of backs in my intro. Um, I hope you're all having a great day. Welcome on in. I am hopefully sounding a little bit less uh, froggy, croaky. I don't know what word we want to use than I was yesterday. It was just, it was early in the morning and I hadn't fully woken up. Anyway, Spork has sent us a letter. Uh, dear Crystal, your present arrived safe and sound. Thanks, pal. I wanted to get you a good present, but the store was out of lizards. Is this okay? Think of me when you use it. Okay. I am officially disappointed because whatever was in here is not going to be as cool as a lizard would have been. I wanted a lizard. <laughs> uh, let's check out what he got us. A kitchen tile. All right. You know what, Spork? I'm sorry. I'm sorry to tell you this, friend, but I really wanted that lizard. Um, but yeah, welcome back. We have a new resident moving in. This is going to be Angus. I checked. I thought that I had him in my new GameCube town that I started on the same day I started this town. And uh, I don't. It's another... It's another friendo. Hi, Flora. Excuse me. I just want to go say hi. Let me go say hello. Hi! I love your shirt. What? You already came by to say hi to me? Well, I'm Angus. Nice to meet you. Back moo. <laughs> I just moved in here. So things are a bit hectic at the moment. Come by after I'm done getting this all unpacked, then maybe we can hang out. Sounds cool, dude. You moved in right in front of my house, so I assume you want to be close. <laughs> oh man, that's always the one thing with this game is if you're not obviously doing other means and or path plot resetting, they loved to be as close to you as possible. It wouldn't be surprising if... Oh no, wait. Well, mm, I was going to say someone else might try to fit in here, but this might be a little bit too close. Um, but yeah, yesterday we did our introductory quest with Isabel. We went ahead and got our... Uh, I don't know why I'm opening my inventory. <laughs> went ahead and got our watering can. And after I finished recording yesterday, I went ahead and did a little bit of behind the scenes work. I'm gonna show you guys what happened. Uh, I went ahead and started organizing flowers for hybrids. I, it's been a while and I don't know if I remember all of our hybrids properly and all the combinations. It looks like we didn't get anything actually, uh, but that's okay. It's actually better off this way, I guess, because now you guys know about it and maybe you guys can send me all the luck I'm going to need. Um, but yeah, I'm trying to pair them off. I don't remember which colors go with which entirely other than like, you know, the very basic like red and white is pink and etc. Um, but I figured I'd put all of our flowers here for the time being. We only have one of these, by the way. We had no lilies and I think that is a violet, right? We have one of those. Uh, let me go ahead and just down. Go. Couple more here. And uh, I'm not going to bore you guys by watering these all on camera. But I figure I'd share that that's something that we've done. <laughs> um, but next up on our list of things to do today, we're heading to the museum. Finally, it's day three and I still haven't even introduced myself to Blathers, I don't think. Um, hello fellow left museum havers, by the way. <laughs> it seems a lot of people are the same boat as me, where it's like you always have one side, and then the occasional time where you've had another, it's like, it's weird. <laughs> Alrighty, hi, wow. You know what? New Horizons Museum is phenomenal and like far too good, but New Leafs wasn't bad. This isn't bad at all. Welcome you to the Wayback Museum. That name's kind of fitting for a museum, almost. Aren't you our new mayor? I am Blathers, the director of this museum. It is my honor entirely to make your acquaintance. Our museum exhibits the very best of archaeology, the natural sciences, and art, fine and otherwise. Ooh, there I go again. You'll find that each time I open my beak, ten words fall out when two will do. I do apologize. I've been trying to get better, but when I have a thought that takes flight... Never mind. Let me start over with, uh... Ooh, fewer words. This museum exhibits insects, fish, assessed fossils, and artwork. The reason to make Wayback as great as it can be. But here's our problem. We are currently exhibiting nothing. Uh, it's a dad embarrassing. But perhaps you can help. If you donate your precious finds to the museum, I'd be eternally grateful as would all of Wayback. I love the museum. The museum is absolutely my favorite part 
of Animal Crossing. I had a lot of bad luck with the museum and city folk, mind you. Um, but I love it. I love it so much. And this kind of leads me into my next point here. I can donate multiples in this game, can't I? Oh my god, look at that. <laughs> it's so beautiful. <laughs> I've been playing, like I mentioned earlier, I've been playing GameCube again. Animal Crossing GameCube off stream, off camera, off everything. Uh, and then obviously the city folk playthrough before this one. And you can only donate one thing at a time. <laughs> this is amazing. Oh, several things I see. Let's take a look, shall we? Yes, we'll gladly take these off your hands. Ah, there's no need for you to pull them all out. I'll handle the rest from here. Pride ourselves in exhibiting all donations in a timely manner. Thank you very much. Uh, no, I'm good. I do need to sneeze, though, so give me just a second. Alrighty. Praise be to the mute button. And also praise be to the joys of editing. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that's the other thing I wanted to mention. I've seen a couple of you have actually already found it. But if you go down into the video description, which I know is kind of like no man's land. Trust me, I get it. Um, I do have a spreadsheet that has every single fish, bug, fossil, and artwork piece that we're going to be looking for during this playthrough. Um, I kind of found a whole bunch of different resources online and tried to make the most, like, comprehensive guide I could for me. Um, because, like, everyone's different. Some people like pictures and theirs. I, I kind of know what I'm looking for. Um, but yeah, we've officially done a little bit of donating. That's always cool. Uh, and if you want to copy that spreadsheet down for yourself, it has different tabs and everything. Feel free. Feel more than free. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Come on in. Do you have anything that I want today? It doesn't really look like it. Um, let me see here. I already got the fishing rod and the bug net. I have the shovel as well. Maybe I could open up a fortune cookie? I haven't done that in a long time. A unique product from our shop, the fortune cookie. When you eat it, a lucky ticket comes out. Sometimes you win. If you bring that back to the store, we'll treat it for an exceptionally rare, not for sale anywhere item. We're selling these for a modest two play coins. Can I interest you in one? Yes, please. I miss. Like, every time someone mentions anything to do with Street Pass, including the play coins and everything, and like taking your 3DS out, it was, it was such a fun time. I miss that. Okay, let's go ahead and see what we got. There was a fortune inside. Let's see. If you leave my mask out there, something terrible will happen. Did I just get Majora's mask on my first go? Hello, excuse me. Today's the day to watch- or sorry, today's my day to watch the story. If you need to talk with my older brother Timmy, please come on by on Tuesday, Thursday, or Saturday. I don't think I ever noticed that they have like a set schedule. That's kind of cute. All right, I got a lucky ticket. Um, I wish they would just take, like, the only lucky ticket in my inventory, but it's fine. Let's see here. Number nine. Ah, congratulations! Prize for number nine is great. Majora's Mask. Do I really want that in my house? Here's your prize. So lucky. Oh, God. Oh, wait! No, that's a wearable item? Oh, is it a bad luck one? Does it act like the, um... Like the King Tut mask? Interesting. And very, very concerning. Um, <laughs> I'm curious. I'm, I'm gonna go run around and see if it trips me up. I thought it was like a wall item for some reason. Anyways, this is fine. I'm gonna go water my flowers with my, my Majora's mask on. It's fun too, because since the last time I played New Leaf, I have now gone through and played Majora's Mask for the first time, and I loved it. It was great. Hello, welcome to the Handmade Fashion Palace of the Abel Sisters. Are you, by any chance, the new mayor everyone's talking about? Oh, everyone around town has been buzzing about you, so you were quite easy to recognize. As you can see, our store mostly specializes in handmade clothes. If you'd like uh, accessories, please look at the accessory shop that's right next door. Right, yeah, I forgot about all this. Yeah, I wouldn't talk to me either. It's okay, don't you worry about it. Sorry about that. She always gets like that whenever she's focused on something. No, she's just terrified. <laughs> um, all right, I'm not really seeing anything here that I necessarily want. If I find my glasses though, that would be kind of nice. 
Um, no. No, nothing today. That's a shame, but it's okay. Thanks. You're welcome. I did nothing. <laughs> I walked in, stared at people with my mask on, and then left. Okay. Well, that's a good start for our day. Let's go ahead and check in with Isabel and see how our um, approval rating is doing. I haven't, like, done much, but let's just see. Oh. Okay. This is tarantula hunting music. <laughs> this is tarantula hunting music. And this is the music where you go to the island. That's what this music is to me. And you get the nighttime bugs. Is that you, Crystal? Out and about at this hour. Look at you go. What's up? Uh, I want to chat. Have you had a bite of a famous Wayback Pear yet? They're totally tasty. It's easy to shake fruit out of a tree. Just face the tree and then press A. To pick up the fruit, just press Y. You can do uh, that to pick up anything on the ground. Oh, and if you want to make some quick cash, you can sell fruit at retail. I am one step ahead of you. But yeah, maybe question of the day here. Um, you know, I was going to ask about music. I'm going to save that one for another episode. Question of the day. Which of the Animal Crossing fruits is your favorite? And it can include the, like, you know, additional ones from New Leaf as well. Okay, I'm going to go sit down. Oh, this thing is cursed. Hi, <laughs> Miss Mayor. Is there something I can help you with? Tell me about that development permit. I'd like to know how much progress you've made towards gaining the development permit. Well, you already own a house, and according to a recent survey, your approval rating is 39%. All you need to do now is gain the approval of the citizens. Let me think of a good way for you to gain their approval. Oh, why don't you sell some stuff at the recycle shop? If you haven't been to retail recycle shop yet, you should really check it out. Selling stuff at the recycle shop is much better for the environment than simply throwing it away. Plus, recycling will set a good example for the rest of the town, and the people will love you for it. There you have it. If you follow that advice, you'll have a 100% approval rating in no time. Cool. I didn't know selling stuff would count. So maybe we can pop down to the beach, sell some seashells, do stuff like that. Go. Uh, and I... I am gonna run, I think. I, I do want to see if this actually trips me up. It might not. It might actually be just fine. But I feel like this should be a cursed item. <laughs> there we go. Alright, so hello there. And then you. But yeah, this music, like... This brings me back. This brings me back. So I got New Leaf. Um, I have four spaces left. Uh, I got New Leaf the summer before I went to college and uh, I got my 3DS as well that that summer um, and I remember it being boiling hot we didn't have an AC unit yet um, and my apartment complex at the time at least we had like a, a pool and there were set hours for adult swim so like you know no kids splashing around or whatever um, my mom would always go down, and one of the adult swim sessions was from 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. Hello, give me just a second. Uh, attention customers, stay from 5 p.m. All items in the store will be half price. Don't miss the chance at great deals. Oh, that was yesterday. Whoopsies. Um, so I would, you know, hear my mom getting ready to go down to the pool, and I would just be kind of, oh, is that red? Oh my. <laughs> um, I'd be kind of like plastered out on my bed trying to keep cool, but waiting for seven o'clock to hit so that I could go to uh, Tortimer's Island and catch all those rare expensive bugs. And then you come back and you'd be like trying to avoid the tarantulas <laughs> or scorpions, whatever, you know, over the summer months um, because they'd be out to get you. That was fun. Okay, hello. I do have some stuff to sell. Um, yeah, I don't really want the kitchen tile. Oh, I forgot to put Wisp down. We can go ahead and do that in a second here. Uh, 3,000 heck, yeah. Take it. 
There we go. What is the... What's the, like, lucky item for today? Red snapper. Oh, hey! My favorite fish! That's funny. Maybe we could do some fishing after. I do want to go see Red, though. I will do that. But I'm going to take off my mask so I don't scare him. Because <laughs> this thing is kind of creepy. Also, I haven't fallen over yet. That could just be sheer luck. But I'm going to guess that, you know, maybe this isn't such a haunted item in this game. I don't know. I thought it was. Okay, so first and foremost, can I display this on a wall? Is that a thing you can do in this game? Let's see here. Oh, you know what? It's a little head mannequin, isn't it? Oh, I kind of would rather have it on the wall, but... Yeah, them's the brakes. That's okay. It's still kind of a cool item to have. It's a little creepy. Oh, uh, let's go ahead and put down Wisp here, too. I won't be able to use his functions right now, but I'll put him down anyway. Oh. Okay, I thought he'd come out. Alright, that's cool. <laughs> this works out for me. Alright, cool. Maybe let's do a little bit of fishing. Because I figure... You know, yes, selling stuff um, in retail is probably great for approval rating, like Isabel said. But I'm also thinking donating stuff is also probably really good, so... Two birds, one stone, right? Then again, I haven't caught anything from the ocean, so we might not get a lot of duplicates. We'll see. What does I catch a bajillion uh, sea bass? Oh, and also to answer my own question of the day from earlier in terms of favorite fruit from Animal Crossing, it's peaches. It always has been. It always will be. Peaches are the best. <laughs> I got a boot. Now, where's your mate? <sighs> Man, I have like a weird relationship with boots in Animal Crossing ever since New Horizons. If you were there day one, March 2020, March 20th, sorry, 2020, when I first streamed New Horizons that first morning. You might remember, I caught a boot really quickly when I got myself a fishing rod. And then it gave me a crafting recipe and I thought that was like the coolest thing ever. And I spent a long time hunting for another boot <laughs> to make the recipe. So anytime I fish up a boot in like an older Animal Crossing game, I still get excited. There's our first of many. I caught a sea bass, see, a bass. My encyclopedia says about my new catch. There we go. So I guess what I'll do, I'll try to keep on top of it, but I'll try to mark off fish and bugs and whatever that I've caught during an episode um, after I'm done recording. This is a horse mackerel. I caught a horse mackerel. Holy mackerel. Wonder what my encyclopedia says. Cool. But yeah, just like city folk, I'm going to try my best with this playthrough to stay on top of the fish and bugs that are seasonal. Try my best to uh, get as many of them as I can. That's another pond smell. I caught that yesterday. You know what? Actually, before I forget, thinking of the museum, I need to go check out Red because I did forget about Katrina yesterday. <laughs> I'm glad that I was like, you know, running around doing flowers and stuff. Oh, and then there's fossils too. We can do that also. Um, I was running around working on the flowers and then I passed by the plaza again and I was like, oh, wait a minute. I, I forgot. <laughs> Alrighty. Hi, buddy. Welcome, welcome. Thank you for visiting my shop. Oh, could this be your first time here meeting old Red? Well, ain't that lovely. I'm always happy to meet uh, fellow art lovers. This is Red's gallery where we specialize exclusively in the finest art you'll ever see in this world. This is your one and only chance to buy a piece of famous art for a bargain that can only be crazy. 
But of course, since they were all these are all really rare items, we only sell one item per customer. Why ask? Because a bargain this crazy wouldn't be fair without some limits. I'd be penniless. Come on in, don't be shy. Have a look around all you want. Alright. So this is the first game I think where you can actually tell a difference. If something is real or if something is fake. That being said, I don't know them all off the top of my head. I think this one's meant to have two figures underneath, so I think that one's probably fake. Um, the good news is that spreadsheet I mentioned earlier, if I can just bring that up really quickly. Um, I have a section in that for the artwork where it will tell you what the genuine one looks like. So let's go ahead and see. Okay, so this is a famous painting. Famous? The left hand should be below the right. And I think this one might be fake then, because if I'm getting the angles right, <laughs> I think that's the right... Wait. Wait. No, that's the left hand that's above the right. So I think this one's fake. Um, I... Bear with me. Gotta bring this up. I do not want it. <laughs> Okay. This one is the Serene painting. So Serene. Okay, this doesn't help me. I don't know what that creature is. Bear with me. Bear with me. We're going to Google. I think that might actually be the cat. Okay, so we know that that one's not real either. So, so far we're, I think, three for four here that are fake, which is never a good look, Red. What's this one? Fine painting. This one is always real, so I think, <laughs> I think we know which one we're going to be going for. There we go. It's impossible to mask the raw intrigue that surrounds such a piece, so it can't really be helped. Fortunately, you're the first to get to it, making you rather fortunate. It's because I like y'all sell it for a low, low price of 3,920 bells. I will take it. Whoa, really? What a shock. Well, obviously you'd have to be as crazy as me to pass it up. Let me just get that sweet, sweet payment and we'll be all set. Okay, got it. Well then, I'll mark this fine painting as a sold item. Everyone else is out of luck. Don't you worry, I'll wrap this up nice and safe and mail it to you as soon as this exhibit is over. But remember, if your mailbox is full, it won't get delivered, so make sure you've got that space ready. Oh, don't you worry, I think we're good. Cool. I'll be sending your purchase off as soon as the exhibit is over, so keep a watch for it. Thank you. Awesome, all right, so we got our very first piece of artwork. Um, artwork is always the hardest thing for me to complete, but hopefully I'll be able to stay on top of it with this playthrough. We'll see how we do. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead. I keep going into my inventory to change tools because I'm used to GameCube. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go ahead and, and grab the fossils here too, since we're working on museum stuff today. Uh, where were those two? There we go. I've dug up some sort of fossil. I wonder what kind of fossil it is. I'll have to take it to the museum and get it examined right away. That is another beautiful thing is you can get them examined straight away by blathers. And I think in this one you can also get them like all examined, I think. I don't think it's individual in this one. Oh, there's our perfect pear tree. I should probably um, go ahead and replant that at some point. Get some more perfect pears. There's a pitfall. I'm glad I didn't step in it. Oh, so I'm so used to not running. <laughs> uh, all right, let's see here. I can't remember if you can sit on your town tree right away or if it has to be like a certain size. I feel like it must have to be a certain size. That's kind of ringing some bells for me. That's going to be cute. Also, I don't think I mentioned this earlier, but kind of speaking about Wisp, from what I remember, he's how you scan in amiibos and stuff. I'm not saying I won't ever scan in any, but I think when it comes to villagers, 
Um, I kind of want to just let random move-ins here happen. Um, I've been really enjoying like the older Animal Crossing games where you don't have that sort of choice because you get to meet some villagers who you wouldn't otherwise meet, right? If your town is full of the same people, then you're never going to meet anyone new. That being said, though, if I get Bob or Gaston all, all hands on deck, we got to keep them in town. We got to keep them happy. They cannot leave. <laughs> but if I don't get them, that's also okay. All right. Uh, I don't remember where all of our fossils are. Actually, how many fossils do you get per day in this game? Is it three? Is it four? I know GameCube is five. And I know New Horizons, it depends on how many days you've been away. And I think in City Folk, we were finding like three at a time. Let's see here. Also, I'm really happy we're still playing when there's the pretty lights on the trees. It's always my favorite. Um, so funny, when we were running around for the last two days, I was seeing like nothing but fossils, just like everywhere. And I wasn't digging them up because I, I knew we didn't have time to go to the museum yet. And now when I'm looking for them, of course they're not here. <laughs> Maybe it is only three per day. I feel like four is ringing a bell, though. Oh well, we found some. Let's go ahead and uh, and go donate them. I also will say hi to everyone over here. Good evening. What brings you out tonight? What would you like to talk about? Your place is probably still half empty, isn't it? Well, it won't be for long. You'd be surprised how packed your little place will get soon enough. You'll want to get rid of some things because they don't match your sense of style. But don't throw them away, sell them at retail. So packers will buy just about anything. Furniture, fruit, uh, shells, <clears throat> fish, and even insects. You'll clear space in your house and have more money to spend on your home decor. This is very true. I remember not being entirely positive and like sure about retail at first. I wasn't sure why we were suddenly not selling to like, you know, Nook or Timmy and Tommy anymore. But I like retail. It was cute. It was a cute idea. It's a bit of a shame they decided to, uh... roll that back, I guess, in New Horizons. Okay, let's go over to the museum. Okay, let's see how donating fossils goes, because I'm not sure I remember exactly how this works. See, there's like, assess a fossil, but do I need to have it assessed before I can just like, hand it over? Oh, I do! Oh, okay. Got you. Understood. There we go, so that was the sea bass and the horse mackerel. Um, let's assess this one. Or these ones, I should say. So one, two, and three. Oh, more than one, I see. Let's take a closer look. Oh, all of these are rare fossils not yet found in our museum's collection. What a surprise, you have a knack for finding fossils, don't you? I'm incredibly jealous. I hope I can convince you to donate them for Wayback's cultural development. In the meantime, I shall return these to you. Do think about donating them, though. Oh, it would have been nice if he would ask, like, hey, are you willing to part ways with these? Okay, let's see what we got. A P uh, Apache skull, Diplo chest, and a T-Rex torso. Oh man, the T-Rex. <laughs> oh, the T-Rex skull was the very last thing I needed in, um, in City Folk for our fossils. Uh, I am good. I'm good. Thank you. Okay, so one last thing here. I think I'm gonna run over to retail, sell off any... Actually, how much extra stuff do I have on me right now? I got some stuff. Let's go ahead and sell it all off. 
And, uh, and then I'm gonna run back and I'm gonna check what our town approval rating is now. Or our citizen satisfaction. Whatever the heck it is, you guys know what I mean. <laughs> we shall see. Oh, I just didn't want to run over any flowers. I ran over one yesterday and I felt really bad. So we have uh, a boot, coral, scallop, pitfall seed, and a pond smelt. Buy four of these, but you'll have to pay a fee to dispose of one of them. I can bring it to... Yeah, no, that's cool. I guess the, the fee was for the boot. Which makes sense. I don't know if there's like another way. I can't remember if like garbage cans actually function as garbage cans in this game. Or if that's a public works project? It might be. I feel like I remember though that there's some public works projects that don't actually help out your town score. This is all kind of coming back to me very suddenly, by the way. Um, and I think the garbage can was one of them. I remember thinking that was weird because you're trying to prevent littering. You know what I mean? Oh well. Alright, hi again, Isabel. I'm sorry to bother you. Just sit down here. There's like some probably very cold coffee in front of me. Alright, tell me about the development permit. Already on a house, according to a recent survey, your rating is 44%. So we went from, what was it, 39? 39% to 44. That wasn't too bad. Watering any flowers around town will show the citizens that you care about way back. Plus, people just love seeing public officials get their hands dirty. Just water any flowers around town that aren't looking too hot, or any that are looking too hot, I guess. There you have it. If you follow that advice, you'll have a 100% approval rating in no time. Thank you. Perfect. We can definitely do that. Alright, well, I think that is probably where I should be wrapping up this episode for today thank you all so so very much as usual for watching make sure you answer the question of the day down below and uh drop the video a like it does mean the world to me thank you so very much have a good one